What's up guys? Today's video is on the best budget Samsung phone. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers, so whether it's price performance or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. At number 5. Samsung Galaxy A12, Best Entry-Level Upgrade If the Galaxy A03s is the best starter phone, then the Galaxy A12 is a slightly better version of that. The A12 nails everything as a cheap Samsung phone, giving you more than just a bare-bones experience. It sports an understated design, with a 6.5-inch TFT Infinity V display, along with a durable build and a fingerprint scanner on the side. When looking at the spec sheet, there's really not much to write home about with the A12. Bringing to mind that you'd spend less than $200 on this phone, the overall package starts to look pretty attractive. The Galaxy A12 has a nice big display, an enduring battery that tops up quickly due to fast charging, a fingerprint sensor for biometric security, and the good old audio jack of yore. While most of the smaller sensors in the quad camera setup don't amount to much, the primary 48MP shooter is decent. There are a few downsides to the Galaxy A12. With just 3GB of RAM and 32GB storage on board, the software experience isn't by any means fast. You can, of course, increase that via micro SD. The budget Galaxy phone also comes with Android 10, One UI 3.1 out of the box, but you can upgrade it to Android 11 right away. At number 4. Samsung Galaxy A21, Best Value. Samsung included its Super AMOLED Infinity display on many devices, including the Galaxy A21. Unfortunately, the newer A-series devices miss out on AMOLED goodness. This is why the Galaxy A21 touts a better value proposition opposed to its newer counterparts. The 6.5-inch display is big enough to enjoy your favorite media, despite only having in Full HD Plus resolution. Additionally, you get four rear-mounted cameras so you can always get the perfect shot. The Galaxy A21 also includes 15 watts fast charging, so your phone will always be topped off, on top of the included 4000 mAh battery. On the spec sheet, Samsung included 3GB of RAM combined with 32GB of base storage. We can all agree that the memory specs aren't exactly impressive, but Samsung compensates with expandable storage. You can increase your device storage up to 512GB by grabbing a decent micro SD for Android. As is the case with other budget options, you may be disappointed in the resolution of this 6.5-inch display. With 720p video playback, your movie sessions may be tainted by some graininess while viewing. Nonetheless, the display is much brighter than the TFT panels that newer Galaxy A models feature. At number 3. Samsung Galaxy A22, best for international use. Traveling abroad can be frustrating when it comes to using your phone. However, when it comes to the Galaxy A22, there's no concern as this device offers a dual SIM card slot. Plus, there is compatibility with just about all GSM network providers. As for the design, Samsung included its vibrant AMOLED Infinity U display for an edge-to-edge -edge design. There is a side-mounted fingerprint scanner, along with 15 watts fast charging, thanks to the built-in USB Type-C charging port. Powering the Galaxy A22 is MediaTek's Helio G80 Soak, coupled with 4GB of RAM and Android 11. Samsung also included a 5000 mAh battery, which is rather impressive and will last at least the entire day, if not a lot longer. On the other side of the table, the Galaxy A22 cannot be used with CDMA carriers, so Verizon and Sprint users will have to look elsewhere. We also would have liked to see Samsung go with a more robust concept, as there is no official IP rating for the phone. At number 2. Samsung Galaxy A03s, Best First Time Smartphone The Galaxy A03s is a step above the bottom of the barrel with its 6.5-inch HD plus LCD display. Meanwhile, it retains the classic smartphone design of the screen, bezels, without the home button. The Galaxy A03s is something that will appeal to those who don't want the latest and greatest, but just something that looks familiar from Samsung. Samsung did make it possible to expand the base storage with the help of a micro SD card. There is also a 5MP front camera, with a triple camera system with a primary 13MP lens paired with 2MP depth and macro sensors, which aim to provide decent photos while you're out and about. You get all the basics of a budget phone, a large battery, USB-C charging, a fingerprint scanner, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. That said, 32GB of storage is rough, 
even with the ability to use a micro SD card. This is especially true when much of that base storage will be taken up by pre-installed software. Plus, users have to deal with the sluggish MediaTek Helio P35 chipset and only 3GB of RAM. At number 1. Samsung Galaxy A32 5G, Best Overall Budget Samsung Phone If you want a flagship-level experience without paying flagship prices, then the Galaxy A32 5G is perfect. This handset has up to 4GB of RAM, 64GB of storage that can be expanded up to 1TB, a side-mounted fingerprint reader, and 4 cameras capable of handling many different shots. It shares a lot of similarities in design to the fantastic Galaxy A52, making it a solid choice. Perhaps even more exciting than the quad camera setup is the 5000 mAh battery. This huge battery combined with the midrange media tech Dimensity 725G chipset provides you with up to 20 hours of battery life or more, depending on your usage. Thanks for watching. For more details follow the links given below in the description section. And if you are new here please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon.